Hey, hi, hello. My name is Emily and thanks so much for hanging out with us on the Today Needs You podcast. This is where we have the chance to chat about all the things. I promise you we're going to tackle them all. I'm super pumped to hear from Isabel on today's episode. So let's dive in together. Hi, everybody. Um, My name is Isabel Covert. I have been on this podcast once before, but it was with Emily. So this is my first time doing it alone, which is really exciting. Um, Some little things about me. I go to Westlake High School. Um, I'm a sophomore, so I'm in 10th grade. I play soccer and I run track. Um, Some of my hobbies, I like to play music. I play the guitar and the piano. Um, I'm also in choir. (laughs) I love music. Um, I like to read. I like to watch movies. Me and my friends, we like to have like movie marathons. I don't know. Maybe that's just us. I think it's really fun though. Um, So today I want to talk about some things that bring me closer to God. Um, Before I get into this, I want to talk about how my life was before I found those things. So I would say some of those things for me now are like my friends, definitely. The people I've surrounded myself with, um, my family, you know, like things that I do, habits that I have, but my real emphasis is on my friends. Um, Before I was surrounded by like-minded people, my life was a lot harder, a lot more stressful. Um, school was harder, sports were harder, not necessarily harder as in the sense that they're actually difficult, but in the way that it was just more stressful and everything was less enjoyable because I felt so alone, not only in my beliefs, but just in like life in general. Um, I feel like you have to kind of go through a period of like finding yourself, you know, before you can like find the people that are really like your people. Like I know that going into freshman year, I did not have very many close friends. I probably had like one or two like friends, like, and they weren't even that close to me. And it really hurt me at the time. I was really upset about it and it was really hard for me. But now that I've kind of grown through that, I realized that I needed that period of growth in order to find the people that I have around me now. Um, I think that the way I found the friends and everyone that I have was just by like kind of putting myself out there. Like, you know, when you go into like a class and you don't have any friends with you in that class and you kind of just like end up sitting there alone and it like kind of stinks and it's like really boring that was me almost all of freshman year. And then at the very end of freshman year, I had a math class and I sat next to this girl. I'm not going to use names, but I sat next to this girl and she is now my best friend. And, um, I didn't really talk to her when she first came into my class, not because like, I didn't know her, but like I'd known her like growing up and stuff. We just weren't close. And I finally just put myself out there and we would start like texting and like working on homework together. And we're now best friends and we like do everything together. We have very like similar beliefs and I don't know. She's just one of my very best friends. Um, yeah, I think that it's really important to go through that period though. Sorry, I kind of got off track. I think it's really important to go through that period of, finding yourself and figuring out who you are before putting yourself out there. I think that if I hadn't gone through that, I would be, I wouldn't have matured and I wouldn't have found, been able to find the people, um, that I have around me now. Honestly, I just think they wouldn't have wanted to be around me because I wouldn't have gone through that growth period and I wouldn't have really like discovered the things that I need around me and the people I need around me and like the support I need and the support I need to give to others. Um, after I found these people, I kind of feel like my life just started to fall into place, which is not like, I don't mean like everything is easy and everything is perfect because it's definitely not. But once you kind of start to surround yourself with things and good things, healthy things, 
everything else kind of just takes care of itself in a way. Um, I think that kind of my main point through all of this is to trust in God's timing because I, now that I have trusted in his timing and I've been through hardships and everything, not saying I don't have hardships because I definitely still do. Um, I'm really able to trust in his timing because now I know that it's going to work out in the end because I've seen it. Like I've been through it. I have felt it. And I know that it's just, it's going to end up being okay. Um, I think that once I found all of these people around me, I have been able to start healthy habits that I may not have had in the past. Um, I've been able to be a lot better of a friend, a lot better of a daughter, a sister, everything. Um, I've started to take care of myself because I know that I have people who around me who will understand her and who are going to support those decisions and times that I kind of need to, you know, be by myself because I know that these people are going to understand that. Um, I also feel like now that I have these people, these friends, everything, I am able to share God's word a lot more comfortably because it's not just me doing it. Cause that can be kind of scary. Going into anything alone can be absolutely terrifying. Like I, I get it. Um, I think that now that I have these people around me, I'm really able to like put myself out there easier because I have people who are going to support me in it. Um, it's a lot easier for me to like, I don't know, public speaking for one. Um, I'm a part of FCA, which is, if you don't know what that is, it's fellowship of Christian athletes. It's a club at my school. Um, and I'm a leader for it. And we have lunches every Thursday where we have students or guests come and speak about their testimonies or just something God has been teaching them recently. So a couple months ago, actually like, yeah, like two months ago, I spoke at FCA. Um, it was kind of hectic and crazy because the schedule got all messed up, which was, it was, I mean, it was fine, but like, it was just kind of crazy. And I had to kind of like rearrange my speech a little bit and I was really stressed about it because everything kind of got like changed around and messed up, which ended up being fine. But in the moment it was kind of stressful, but my friends made it a lot easier for me because they were able to like help me through it and they know me well enough to know what's going to help like de-stress me and like calm me down and make it easier for me to feel comfortable doing that also just like being in that room speaking to everyone because it's a decent amount of people I would say like the times that the room has been full it's like 50 to 60 people and that's just like at a high school lunch which a lot of clubs you cannot get that many people to come so it's kind of crazy. It's definitely nerve wracking, but my friends have helped me a lot with public speaking and I've always kind of loved public speaking. I've also spoken at, um, is that the right word spoken? I think that's right. I spoke at fields of faith, which is another event through my school, um, where people come and share their testimonies and it's just like a night of worship. It's really awesome. I spoke there in eighth grade. So three years ago, two, three years ago. Yeah. Three years ago. It's kind of crazy. Um, I spoke there, which that's a whole nother story. But my point is, I think that having people around you who support you and have similar beliefs as you and care about you and you know that you would take care of them, it really helps like build your confidence and it really helps you feel more comfortable when you're in those moments where you're feeling stressed or just honestly with anything in general. It definitely makes you feel more comfortable. Um, I also think that having those people around you help you to become a better Christ follower. I think that God recently has been trying to teach me to be a vessel. That's definitely a lesson that he's been teaching me. And whenever I have 
good friends around me and people who support me and I have healthy habits that are building me up, it's a lot easier to do that because I feel a lot more confident speaking about his word. Um, I feel like although it's super, super, super important to surround yourself with like-minded people as I've been talking about, it's also important to have some people around you who might not necessarily know God as well as you do because it gives you an opportunity to speak. And I'm not saying those people should be like your best friends because I think it's obviously really important to have a close circle of people who know like what you're talking about and what you believe in. But it's good to know people that don't necessarily believe in every all the same things that you do because it gives you an opportunity to teach, right? It gives you an opportunity to like show them what you believe in and the way that you think and I don't know, possibly bring them to God. Um, recently I have been praying about God bringing me, um, or using me as a vessel, you know, like bringing me closer to these people that are like-minded and using us all as vessels to speak his word. And I've seen some crazy, crazy, crazy results. Like I've, after I spoke at FCA, I had Um, I had a girl text me saying that she wanted to start going to church and she was like asking, I don't know how to get started or like young life. I don't know if you guys know what young life is. It's another Christian organization. Um, but she was kind of asking how to get involved in young life. And it's kind of crazy. Like after you really do try and you pray about these things, you do, you start to see results. Um, so I mentioned earlier some like having healthy habits that also bring you closer to God. And one of these for me has been Bible study, which I feel like that's kind of, I don't know, a lot of people do Bible study, you know, but I feel like I have found a way of doing Bible study that has really helped me and really, really brought me closer to the Lord. Um, what I've started doing is I do it every morning. So like right when I wake up, even if it means I wake up five minutes earlier, um, and I use the soap method. One of my friends taught me this and it's really actually really helpful. So I have like a little journal and I use scripture from my Bible app and it gives you like a verse of the day. So I use the verse of the day and use that as my scripture, So I use, it's called the SOAP method. S stands for scripture. So you write down whatever you're going to read that day. O stands for observations. So you read it and write down your observations. A is application. So how it applies to your life or just anything around you. And then P is prayer and kind of write how it relates to something that you could be praying about or something that you have been praying about. Um, So kind of coming to an end here, tying this all together. I think that it is super important to have gone through a period of time where you did not have a very good support system. Even though I'm not saying put yourself in that position, but if you go through that, just know that it's healthy. It's not a bad thing. And you need to just trust in God's timing because he has a plan and it's going to work out in the end. I promise. Um, I have some verses to close this out. Um, this is one of my favorite verses. It's Proverbs 22, 24 to 25. It says, do not make friends with a hot tempered person. Do not associate with one easily angered, or you may learn their ways and get yourself in. I don't know how to say this word ensnared. I think is how you say it. It's basically just saying, do not associate with people. Do not hold people close who don't have, you know, who aren't going to build you up, who aren't going to be part of your support system because, it's not going to help you. It's not going to be good for you in the long run. Um, another one that I really love is first Thessalonians. I think that's how you say that. Um, five eleven, which says, therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as you were doing. I love that first because it really touches on how important it is to not only let people build you up, but be a support system for others. Um, I think, My main point out of all of this is to have patience and trust God that he's going to bring you the right people at the right time. His timing is always going to be right. And no matter what hardships you have to go through, it will work out in the end if you trust him. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you want more from our community, follow us on social media at allthethings.community. 
We also hang out every day on the Daily Bible Things podcast, and you can check those out in the show notes. Have a great week and don't forget, today needs you.